Hello everyone and welcome to Voyages in Time. For Pride Month I'm going to be uploading a series of short videos examining lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, and other queer persons and events in history. For the record, I am a cis-hetero male, however I think it is a better use of time and energy for everyone, regardless of sexual orientation, to spend Pride Month learning actual queer history instead of buying rainbow-themed deodorant from the department store. Finally, I am not the best at keeping up to date with the correct pronouns and acceptable verbiage when it comes to talking about queer issues, so if at any point this month I use an antiquated or inappropriate term, I hope you understand it was accidental and not coming from a place of malice. So, I thought the best place to start this series would be by examining what is Pride Month and where did it come from. Pride Month is a month dedicated to celebrating the accomplishments and history of LGBT persons and organizations. Pride Month is celebrated at different times of the year around the world, but has been officially recognized as being in June in the United States since 1999. The origin of Pride Month is to be found in the Stonewall Riots of 1969, which took place in New York City's Lower Manhattan. The names of the riots comes from the Stonewall Inn, which was a prominent gay bar that was raided by the police. After several arrests, simmering anger boiled over into physical violence between the police and a growing crowd of people in the area. This initial confrontation was spontaneous in nature, but evolved into multiple nights of fighting between the police and the queer community, who were fed up with being unable to openly express their affections. Stonewall wasn't the first gay riot in the nation's history, nor would it be the last. However, it became the rallying point of the spirit of gay resistance and liberation. The Gay Liberation Front was founded, and gay activism became more noticeable nationwide, often allied with existing activist movements such as anti-war and black right causes. On the one-year anniversary of the riot, gay pride parades were organized in New York City, Chicago, and other cities. Gay rights organizations multiplied across the nation, and more cities began to hold their own parades. Pride parade events are often celebratory and lighthearted, but are also very political. They are used as mass voter registration events, calls for mass actions on issues of the day, such as the AIDS crisis in the 1980s, and much more. June has also been the month when several important Supreme Court cases have been handed down related to gay rights. These include Lawrence v. Texas in 2003, which ruled criminal punishment for sodomy as unconstitutional, the famous Obergefell v. Hodges case in 2015, which guaranteed the right to marry to same-sex couples, and 2020's Bostock v. Clayton County, which ruled that the Civil Rights Act of 1964 protects workers against discrimination for being gay or transgender. More recently, Pride Parades, and indeed Pride Month as a whole, has been criticized as losing touch with its political roots and becoming more corporate-driven. Michael Bronski, Harvard professor and author of A Queer History of America, has seemed to embrace this, saying that, quote, full citizenship in America has always been predicated on the ability to consume, so why would it be different for LGBTQ people, end quote. Corporations have seemed to decide it is worth losing their homophobic customers to tap into this new base. However, there are accusations that this is capitalistic opportunism, with corporations only signaling their support of gay rights to extract profit, little of any of which is redistributed to gay organizations. There are also numerous examples of companies, such as AT&T, who release public statements that are LGBTQ friendly while donating millions of dollars a year to anti-gay politicians. All this has led in more recent years to alternative pride parades being more focused on the original radical and political roots of pride parades. One such example is the Queer Liberation March, which has taken place annually since 2019 in New York City. So there is a brief history of Pride Month. If you want more information about Stonewall and the riots, let me know and I'll revisit it later this month, probably on June 28th. This is probably going to be the most recent of topics that I will cover this month, so if you didn't like me getting into the modern politics of gay pride, don't worry, it won't be happening again. I'll be taking any and all constructive criticism in the comments below. Subscribe so you can know when the next video goes up, and thank you so very much to my Patreon subscribers. You all have yourselves a wonderful day and a wonderful month.